So this is Rugby Boss on the Amstrad CPC 464. Box of the Spectrum game there, because I'm going to find the uh, Amstrad one. Looks like Castleford playing Featherstone. Bloke looks a bit like Alex Murphy shouting instructions in his sheepskin coat. As a child of the North, specifically Yorkshire. Always wanted to, you know, be a rugby league player. Was rubbish at it. So, you know, next best thing, be a coach. There's the uh, title screen. I don't know who he's supposed to be. But there you go. And I have been selected as manager of Warrington. We've got £39,000 in the bank. That doesn't bode well. So look at the league table. Well, there we are. Wakefield in Division 2 as well. Leeds. What are they doing there? Uh, there's my squad. And basically what you do on this is you put all the players with the biggest number of skill in, in favour of the ones with the lowest number of skill. It's uh, there's, not, there's not tactics to this. It's, it's not like a proper rugby league manager game you get today, of course. Uh, you can check statistics and stuff. There's the League One table, or Division One table. Castleman on top. Could have seen Bramley and Barrow in there along with Batley. Anyway, first game against Salford. Uh, as you may have seen on the screen, they're better than me. Uh, they've got a skill rating of 8 and a morale of 6. We've got a skill rating of 5 and a morale of 0, which is not good. And uh, what's also not good is Salford have scored. So it's kind of semi realistic. This is it, by the way. There's no graphics to this. I think that did. Um, Alternative did another, was it an American football game, Gridiron 2 or Enzone or something, which was very, very similar to that. Oh, Des Drummond has scored, that's exciting. And, uh, I assume that's Ben Harrison, who's uh, got the opener for Warrington. So we're winning now. Oh, we were 12-all uh, at half-time. It's not too bad. I don't think you can make substitutions. Uh, so 12-all, we've got a chance here. It'd be nice to start the season with a win against uh, an impressive Salford side. Oh, we've scored again. Banks. No idea. Kicker's on form. So that's good. So 20 minutes to go. 18 12. No. It's off the squad. Oh, they've missed the kick. Hey, we've got a chance here. Problem is, you can't do anything. You just watch it. It's like watching a sea fangs. No. No. Solve for the winning. <laughs> 10 to go. Come on, Warrington. Get back into it, lads. No. Well, there's always next week. Oh, it's good. Harrison. Praise for him. Brilliant. Ah, oh, boy, we lost. 26-22, well done Salford, there's your results, Wakefield have lost, typical, a great one for Sheffield there, <coughs> at Leeds and there, uh, Fenton was the run crown, gate receipts £10,000, wages £30,000, Th this doesn't bode well, does it? No point changing the team, let's take on run corn. they're better than us, <laughs> which is bizarre, because run corn would have that great, uh, Des Drummond there with another from Warrington, so we've got the lead, this is exciting, oh another try! Uh, Robin Whitfield, the referee. Brilliant. 8 0. No, no conversions yet, though. So the uh, kicker from game, what must be uh, worse conditions at Run Corner. It must be a big wind or something. Oh, they've gone now. Well, it's not affected their kicker. So as we approach half time, 8 6 to the wire against the Run Corner. Oh, it's gone again. Ma. Johnny Ma from the Smiths. Excellent. 12 6. The kicking could be the key here, of course, because we haven't conveyed any of our tries. Well, you neither did run call there, so two points to the difference. We'll see what. Oh, Kerner. Who? 16 10. Oh, nice, nice try. Oh, Smythe. You don't win Lancashire. Uh, 20 points. Oh, and Banks again. Wow. What a second half this is. And another one. Ketteridge. 28 10. We're battering them. How's this happened? Well, this is a great performance from Whiten. As you can see, there's, there's no tactics, there's no skill really involved in this game. But if you're a rugby league fan, you know, in the 1980s, Nutstrut 90s, this is all you had. We won. 28-14. Brilliant. There was Rugby Manager by a Mastertronic. That was quite good. That had graphics and everything. Uh, rugby Coach by d &H Games, which on the Amiga version, you could coach either a Union or League team. We always used to spend the game trying to sign Union players, but it never worked. And of course, there were... Uh, also, was it Rugby League Coach? Yes, by uh, Audiogenic on the Amiga, which was very good. And the uh, tea lady gave you cups of tea and stuff. But apart from that, I can't think of any other great rugby games. But there were some on the Spectrum, should go back and play those, because they were a bit different to the Amstrad. But, uh, yeah, you, you got what you could take, as opposed to every single bloody football manager game you could find, because of course there were a million of them. Weren't that many. Uh, rugby league ones of course although dnh did bring out a wide range of random sporting manager games favorite of which and i'm gonna have to dig this out for the uh for a video is snooker manager anyway there we are we won wait if you have lost again and we've gone bankrupt <laughs> <laughs> why have we got a higher wage bill this week we haven't signed anyone the club is now in debt 
and you have been dismissed. Yeah. Which is a bit unfair because I didn't sign any of the players. I mean, I probably should have sold one or two, but ah well. So that's me. I'm two weeks in charge of Warrington. Club's gone bankrupt. I'm sad. Uh, alternative software, 1988. Alternative. Oh look, I've been off the job at Keithley now. They've got more money. How does that work? Uh, rugby boss there. Not a bad game. Um, alternative. Don't get the credit they deserve. Used to love Postman Pat. That was a cracker. 